all my hustle bunnies. You already know what time it is. You know, I'm working on a couple of projects, so be on the lookout. Um, my U of Dub video is dropping. Go on the iTunes, produced by Don P. You know, shout out to Grind Media. I've been there from the beginning of my journey, so I, uh, he really in the streets like the mayor. He in the streets, for real. So if you're not messing with Grind, you ain't really doing that. So, salute. So you can follow me. Let's just give him a little rundown from 2000 and 2010. What was the campaign on? Um, 2010, my campaign was definitely on. I was um, the first lady of Fat Trace Entertainment, so I was more into the whole uh, movement. So shout out to Fat Trace. And then that led off and branching into... It branched into really my own movement, the Hustle Bunny movement. So I really wanted to work with a lot of females and, you know, expand. Well, let's go into details. You know, you had a couple of year era of pink cookies. Um, yeah. Bring them up on that era. Okay, so pink panties was pink an panties. era. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I, no, you're good. <laughs> pink panties. Salute to uh, everybody in pink panties. You know, we were four... <laughs> Before you get started, that's what gets to me. What it say? Take the cookies and dip it in some milk. Take the cookies and dip it in some And I keep yeah. attaching pink cake. Okay, but go yeah, ahead and tell me about that era. Yes, salute. Because um, Pink Panties, we came together because of Fat Tracks. We all shared a producer. And it was four women and we started working together. And uh, the cookie song is the song that we collaborated on. And it's actually... The best song to this day that we've made is it's really it's such a hit it's a unique sound you know produced by young Boski, fat tracks baby you already know so so after that era came you involved into um i think that should have brought us up to around the deja vu era so what was going on around that time uh the deja vu era i was really like branding myself as an underground female artist you know so i used to go to places where you know people were scared to go so shout out to deja vu the uh, first one on simpson road triple seven the promoters really really you know um Believed in me, so I used to perform at Deja Vu, and uh, you know, really, that's the underground, underground, you know, scene right there. So I, I really love the underground scene. It's grimy, but you got to put in your work and you get more respect. So now here it is, six years later, and I feel like a lot of that work I put in is now paying off to bring me here to a radio and with a legend fiend. So it's like crazy, you know what I'm saying? So how do you like, do you like being behind the scene doing the interview, or do you like being the one getting interviewed? I hate getting interviewed. Absolutely hate interviews. I hate being questioned. So I like being on the other end, to be, to be honest. And shout out to Grind for catching this off the chart interview. <laughs> I ain't got my shades on or nothing, but uh, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna elaborate on that to kind of wrap it up. You also do a little bit more than, um, um, radio music. and music. Yeah. You're also into modeling. Elaborate more on that. Well, I'm actually not into modeling. I will do some things for some people, but I'm actually into drapery and interior design and custom creations. So shout out to Star Lee Daniels. He have a series on Fox and um, our company <coughs> produced all the drapes for it and Queen Latifah, all of them, so that check that out. It's on Fox right now. So as I transition in and out the music, I definitely transition on the other side of film, which is sewing. So I'm a master craftsman, and that's really what my other passion is. I just don't talk about it as much. Okay.